Welcome back. Previously, we built a new brownie project from scratch. We built a smart contract. We automated deployment and automated interactions with the smart contract. And in this lecture, we're going to automate smart contract testing with Python in brownie. So join me in your code editor and we're going to create a test script. So inside of the tests folder, we'll create a new file and we can call this our test hello world.py file. So this is going to be a Python script. Let's define our first test. We will test deployment. In order to test deployment, we have to import the contract that we want to test. So from Brownie, we're going to import the hello world contract because that is the contract from our Brownie project. Next up, we are going to deploy the contract. So we'll call hello world dot deploy. We have to specify what account is being used for the deployment. So from Brownie, I'm also going to import accounts and I'm going to specify my account to be accounts at index zero. Then we can save the result as hello world. And then we can expect some kind of value. So when we first deploy the contract, we should expect that our number should equal zero. It should exist and should equal zero. So we're going to grab our value with hello world dot get number. It's a function from the contract. Then we're going to assert that the value should equal zero. So our number should equal zero when we first deploy the contract. To test this, we can go to the terminal and use the command brownie test in our project folder. This is going to start a test session on our Darwin platform on my computer with Python 3.9, PyTest 6.2.5. So we're using PyTest for testing, as well as Py and Pluggy, some helper libraries. The root directory is the project folder where the tests are running. We can use some plugins, or we are using some plugins, ETH Brownie, Forked, Web3, Xdist, and Hypothesis. We collected one item, then we launched a local blockchain for the test. Then we went into the tests folder and we are going to run all of the test files, in which case we just have one. Then we should get a message one passed in 1.83 seconds and then we term terminate the blockchain. So we were able to pass the test. You can also do fail first testing, which means first you write the test and expect it to fail. So we expect that this should be wrong. This should fail. Then we can call brownie test again and we get this message one failed. So if your test fails, you'll get failures. You'll get test deployment, which is the name of the function that failed. Then you can see your function and you can see the line highlighted where the test failed. We can see that this line is an assert line, which means it's asserting that some value should equal another value. This is the test line. It's asserting that the value should equal one, but the results was that the value equaled zero and zero does not equal one. So that's why the test failed. So we get an assertion error because this assert statement failed. The value did not equal one. The value equaled zero. Then you get a short test summary info. You see which ones failed and which ones succeeded. So this is called fail first testing where you write the test first expecting it to fail and then you fix it and then you run it again expecting that it will succeed. The reason that you take that extra step is because sometimes when you're writing tests you can miss things and you can accidentally pass without realizing. So if you expect to fail first it makes your testing more robust because you're less likely to miss things. So that's called fail first testing and it's optional you don't have to do it. It's just an extra layer of security to make sure you wrote the tests correctly. Otherwise, you can just do pass first testing. So we were able to write a test for the deployment of the contract. Join me coming up next. We're going to learn how we can build a test that will test 
interactions with the contract, so transactions. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.